Hey guys, I want to address something I've been noticing and kind of going through mentally for many years now as I've been trying to kind of make it as a content creator from many different angles and generally haven't succeeded and maybe finally might be starting to, to crack a little bit of success here and there, but even still, some of these problems still apply quite greatly and I'll, I'll address them as they come up. And I want to be clear about a few things in this video, as you've probably already seen the title, know what it's about. This is not to bash people that have made it. Congrats to you if you have, that's awesome. This is more about how hard it is as a new creator to even like break any sort of new ground or get anywhere and how much just the enormous amount of work it takes. So I think probably a minority of people are probably guilty of being on the problem side of this, you know, the non content creator as the watcher. Uh, because, well, we'll get to that. It's it's about how things are pushed. So the main point here, and it's kind of hard to discern how this affects everyone since it's it can be different for everyone, but it's more about uh, it's more about how I've experienced it. So that's that's how we're going to talk about it. All right. So I've kind of noticed it's very very hard to grow, nearly impossible, or well. So maybe you can grow, but you grow at such a slow rate that it's not a reasonable path to success. So you can kind of look at your trend line and say, oh, look, in 15 years, I'll make enough to pay my bills or in 20 years, I'll make enough, which isn't a reasonable career path. You need a job where you can pay your bills month to month in general, not not in 15 years. That doesn't really work for for most people. Uh, so that that's kind of one of the things I want to address here. And the last thing I want to kind of cover is what is a new person to do? How do you get past this? How do you actually grow as a content creator? All right, so here we go. Let's dive into it. The pre-famous problem. All right, so the thing here is that if you've already made it, you've, you're already famous, you're pre-famous going into something, then you have no problem continuing. You can do pretty much anything you can want. You can make any Kickstarter you can want. You can start any project you want, and it's almost automatically successful. No matter how bad you do at it, you can still get the initial funding. You can still find all your supporters from before. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, that's actually probably a good thing. It's really nice once you're at that level. To say that it's a problem is kind of a weird thing. It's not it's it's more of a problem for the new guy it's for someone that has a great idea but no one to listen to them or for someone who really wants to ha do something but has really hard uh, problem you know a lot of trouble getting people to jump on board or to find initial funding all right so the ones who have made it are pushed if you look at youtube the videos that already get a ton of views the creators that already get a ton of views and have tons of subs, they're the ones who are at the top of the list. When you visit it as a new user or just some generic user, the, the videos they want you to watch are the ones from people that have already made it, right? And for example, for my videos, do they push my new videos? Not very much, but once my videos get a lot of views, then it keeps getting more views. But the ones who don't get any views, they never get any more views. So it's like they only push the ones that have already made it. I might have a really good video that no one's watched. Maybe. I don't know. You'll never know, right? Because uh, no one's ever going to recommend it because it didn't get watched to begin with. That sort of thing. That's what I'm talking about. And that, that's not just me. It happens to every, everyone. And, and if you go to Twitch, you're recommended like the top 10 streamers. And that's it. Watch the top 10 streamers. They have thousands upon thousands of viewers. But then there's so many streamers that have pretty much no viewers, like 1 to 5, 1 to 10, 5 to 10, and they might have really, really good, satisfying streams, but uh, it's not going to get pushed until thousands of people pile on, and actually, that's how it gets pushed. It gets pushed by being famous, so it's it's like a paradox of you can't make it until you've already made it, and that paradox, for some reason, bothers me, and I'm going to try to get to the solutions of this there's not there's not an exact solution because it's not exactly a problem per se it's more like a hypothetical problem for a new person who would like to rise the ranks not just it's probably good for other people because they want to see content that's been weeded out they just don't want to go uh, see all the 
stuff from new creators that's not necessarily all that great you know all right so let's move to the second part here and this this is uh this is something i see a lot and it's an issue of maybe people finally find you but they see they want to see social validation they don't particularly care about the content or you or anything all they want to see is that other people like you and this this really bothers me more than any anything it's like okay so i'm going to jump on the bandwagon that's the mentality that they take if other people like this person i like them if other people don't like this person i don't like them or this creator or whatever it may be and that's the stance they don't they don't really critique the content they might not even I don't know, they might watch the content and have a meh, indifferent opinion, and then they want to see what other people are doing, and they jump on that bandwagon. I'm not a big fan of bandwagon hopping. As you as you can probably tell, I don't tend to make videos on trending subjects or anything, because I just don't care. I try to make uh, videos on things that I want to do or that I find important, or things that don't seem to be out there, and uh, or, you know, I feel like I'm trying to do things that need to be done, not necessarily that are um the trend so and i know already that i could probably grow a lot faster by jumping on trends and and doing all these things i'm saying i don't like i i tend to go against the grain i don't i don't tend to like uh just fall on the same path because w what's the point it's just like you're stomping the same ground you're doing this you're you're doing the same thing every one else is doing it's not really progressive i i kind of like things to uh, grow differently i'm uh, this might surprise a lot of people but i'm not a big fan of the way that the world is well, and i think that this is probably pretty common uh there's some things that are great that are great technology is great uh the things we have available to us on a daily basis are great we've got computers good food whatever we basically have whatever we want and that's all good but there's some other underlying problem and i think we see it in things like the suicide rate going up and that most people aren't happy and things like that but yet we have all this stuff that's great and life's better than it's ever been so that's where the issue kind of comes in because now this is kind of hard to express but i'll just try to be blatant with it it's like it's like it feels like everybody's being rewarded for doing nothing it's like we get all this nice stuff and we don't have to do anything for it and that's depressing because then it's like why should I try to do stuff? My life's already great. And then what happens then is your life lacks meaning. And that's what leads to all the really bad stuff like depression and etc. Is the lack of meaning. Because why? Why would you do it? You can go get a loan and buy the newest iPhone and have whatever sweet stuff. There's free software to do everything. You don't even, you know, it's everything's already so great, but yet there's no there's no meaning. So I'm continually searching for meaning. All right, so uh, moving on to the last section of this. So what is a new person to do? It's really hard to get feedback as a new creator. You'll have one bitter, angry person jump on every once in a while and say something obnoxious. That's not really helpful. It's really hard to get critical feedback that actually will help you. Because you know, so one person might say something very valuable and then you try it and nothing. I don't know. And then someone might really criticize you for something and you might think okay i'll correct that and then i don't know nothing so you just kind of get a few things here and there and you might try them but they don't actually seem to do any good so what do you actually do and i think i have figured this out and i think it's why i'm starting to grow more than ever even though it's still pretty slow it's faster than before i've learned a lot and the the lessons have been amazing it's, it's still worth it even just for all that even if i quit tomorrow so okay the new person what you should probably do is focus on making quality content and just being yourself with all this stuff so quality content and be yourself if you're trying to if you're trying to be something you're not that's always a problem and well i say that but i don't really know because maybe if i played some character that wasn't me maybe things would grow faster i see even i don't know what to do this is the point here and any big person that's already making it will can make these type of videos and, and tell you what you need to do but those don't work either because a you're not them and b you haven't had a breakout role you need some kind of breakout role they've already had theirs thus they can go make the video to say here's what you need to do have a breakout role and then, then you're you're off to success from there but what if you have no way of getting that breakout role or what if you 
keep trying for and it just never happens, then what? That's the things that nobody can even tell you. you. It's almost like you have to get lucky. Or I guess what you can do is get a shout out from someone who's already made it. Get a shout All it took was some guy that's already made it to say, go look at them. And then I auto make it with the, all my previous work didn't even matter. All I had, oh God. And even all this is subjective because in short, if you're a new creator, it's almost impossible to grow fast enough to actually make it. You basically have to give up and go do something else unless you get lucky and get a shout out or a breakout role and you don't really have control over those. Not much anyway, doesn't seem like. So that's the video. Hope you enjoyed. Consider supporting me and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.